Hey, this is Mike. Let's talk about a secret weapon. Let's talk bow numbers. Bow numbers are a great way to identify you and differentiate you from somebody else. And coming down the race course, that's really important. A lot of times we think that our uniforms or our blade colors will do it, but when people are on the finishing line and they're looking across that wire to see who comes across first, they're not looking at uniforms and they're not looking at blades. They want to see the bow ball and the number right next to the bow ball is what they're really looking for. The first tip is to keep your bow numbers nice and organized and this is what we do. We've got a uh, bow box, you can see, pretty easy, that we keep all our bow numbers in. And we have them from a lot of different places. These are kind of neat ones with our name on them, made by Noble Hardware. And we've got them look around here you'll see a whole bunch you see some there's a, a uh, special two that we've also used for a seven sometimes you end up making your own it's for a happy race what's interesting is that you'll be I find I'm always amazed at the at the bound numbers that we have where they come from but I'm, there's an 11 I'm also always amazed that the number that we really, really need is usually not in the pile. So sometimes it's worthwhile going through and making sure that you've got the ones you need. The second tip is to make sure that where the bow number attaches to the boat is secure, and that's the bow clip. Here's a bow clip right here, and usually they attach by two screws. What I also do is put a line of um, the silicone right in there, so when I squish it down, so it's going to stay on. So it's worse than get to a race, not having a bow clip on your boat, and you don't have an extra one. The tip is to make sure that your bow number is in, nice and secure. And they usually go in easy. Sometimes they don't. In this case, well, we'll see. Just put it on a side angle, and press down, and press down, and there it is, nice and tight. So we've got a good bow number there, and you can see if the person's looking across the line, he's going to see the bow ball, and he's going to see a bow number. And they're not very far apart. It helps the people at the finish line make the right call. Fourth tip is to make sure the bow number's in there nice and secure when the weather's bad. What I've done here is taken a little bit of a gaff tape. Gaff tape is just an extra heavy-duty duct tape. They use it out in California. Well, not just California, they use it on movie sets and such when they're constructing things that need to do it quick. In our case, we use this on our uh, bow numbers when it gets windy out or wavy and there's any chance that the bow number will come off. That's a little bit of security there. And with gaff tape, it comes off nice and easy. That's tip number four. And then the final tip for bow numbers is to make sure you're using them. I would use them every single time you go out. Also, make sure you have the right number. I've seen more than one crew, I've done it myself. You go out, put a bow number on, and it wasn't the right number. Just be careful of that. So that's the couple little tips to get the most out of your bow numbers. Mike, go fast.